hello wordpress nerds so today in this video we are going to talk about how to add fields to your custom admin menu so if you don't know how to add custom admin menu um, in this playlist i have created a video for that so i would suggest to go and check this video first and then come back again but for this video i'm gonna quickly show you how you can do that and uh, here is my custom plugin where i'm adding all my code to demonstrate how to do the stuff on the wordpress so let's add an admin menu so this is the first part um, we have to add the admin menu using admin menu action and as this is admin side stuff so i'm gonna open my custom plugins admin.php and here i'm gonna add the custom menu i'm gonna explain what it is but let me add something before that And I'm gonna commit this on my GitHub repo and I will provide this link to you in the description section. Then, yeah, so in the admin menu, we have added this callback, and this is the function by which we can add admin menu page. So, once you do this, um, let me show you what happens. So, if I refresh this, uh, you should see this custom menu over here so let's give it a different name let's say I'm gonna say it BWP page sorry not page setting and I'm gonna give the title same title this is the privilege privilege means who can um, add edit uh stuff in this form or page this is going to be a slug so let me at bwp settings this is the callback so whatever you want to display in this page it should go inside this callback function so let me add that so i'm gonna add that function over here let me quickly add a dummy text so, so once you do this let's see what happens critical error good sorry about that guys what am i missing sorry about this okay i have created oh sorry this two uh, this both function name are same so let me change this silly mistake so now let's refresh this okay slug is this yeah we change the slug so now let's visit this page and we see this because I have written only this now we are going to add a form inside this um, page so how to do that so we will be adding form inside this function so for that I'm gonna copy this 
and paste it over here and let me explain this is the wrapper doesn't matter you can use your own but i try to keep default i followed um structure from this settings page so i like to keep things what comes by default and here you can give your um title whatever you want so i'm gonna keep it similar then this is the form and in that form this action is important and in that action you have to pass this options dot php then you have to close the form before closing the form you have to use this function called submit function um, which is wordpress default function to add submit button then this is kind of table structure i followed from the wordpress and before that <coughs> before that this one is most important thing you have to use one is setting fields another one is do setting fields i'm going to show you what exactly these functions are so first let me make some changes over here so i would change the slug of this uh, functions so i'm gonna keep the same as this slug just to stay consistent and now let's refresh this so we see this title and save changes and uh, we haven't added any field yet for adding field we will use this and uh, let me show you what setting fields are there so i'm gonna inspect this sorry about this um video might be a little longer but very informative so i'm gonna open this so inside form we have this uh, hidden fields which are which are coming from this function and as you can see option page is bwp setting so whatever we pass over here it is going to be generated over here let me zoom it so that's that and this is most important thing you need to use it then for this this is the right way to add fields so that um, third party plugin also can add their fields inside your custom page so two parts are done oh, sorry this is the first part now we have to uh, register a setting so how to do that so for that we have to use admin init action so i'm gonna change it bwp register my setting function and why would we need to register setting i will explain in a bit oh sorry so this is the function register setting so this is the function register setting which accepts three parameter first is option group which belongs to this so in this function first parameter is the group you can give whatever you want and this one will be default one so this accept this uh, first group name so we should add this over here then the second parameter is option name so i'm gonna call it pwp field one you can give it uh, whatever you want and this is the argument 
just to um, validate what kind of data you will be storing into the database so this will be type string how to sanitize this the so this function we can use to sanitize the value and this is the default wordpress function and what default value you want to have for the field so by doing that this you you don't need to write a code to set uh, save the data separately once you do that uh, sorry once you do this wordpress handles automatically storing the data now our uh, setting is registered um, it, it doesn't affect over here but now we want to add an actual field over here so that so for that we have to use this function add setting field sorry about that guys yeah again inside this uh, admin in it now in this this accepts this uh, four compulsory option that we are going to use other things we will keep as it is so this first one is the id so whatever id you want to use but for the consistency i use the same as this field name then the label you want to add whatever so i'm gonna call it um, Now call it uh, field one then this is the callback function so in this callback we will be actually adding a field so I will keep this as it is I hope this is not the duplicate function again and this is the last one the slug of the uh, which page you want to add so again this is the page so I'm gonna add this over here and now let's write this callback and inside that let's echo input tag and again uh, for the consistency give the field name this and uh, let's see what happens sorry so now the field is started displaying let me get rid of this now let's try to store something and save setting so this setting should be stored in the database let's try to confirm uh, as we are passing action options.php so it will be stored in options table using this key so let's try to get this value into get option use get option function and in that we have to pass this key and then we will pass the value attribute
correct way to pass attribute value is using this function we will check deeply in another video about this but as of now let's try to refresh this page again and as you can see our data is stored and started displaying let's try to use this as you can see um, uh, data is stored so this is how you can add as many as fields to any admin menu page uh, using this two actions uh, sorry this one action and two functions so this is how you can add fields to your custom admin menu page if you have any doubt question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching